Speaking of that notch on the display, responsible, of course, for one of the world's most famous face unlocks, Face ID. Face ID working now around the new, the new costume of the public. The new normal. The new norm. The new attire of the citizens of planet Earth, which, of course, is the mask. Mm -hmm. There's many different forms of masks out there. You have blue, you have white, you have black. You have many different choices. And believe it or not, your choice of mask actually impacts the effectiveness of your face ID or face unlock, for that matter. Uh, apparently, the black mask is the worst one when it comes to... Um, Just recognition. And error general. rates. Oh. The error rates, there's a big scale of error rates, but they're obviously much higher when it comes to mask wearing. Something between 5 and 50%. That's the scope of the error rate on the variety of different facial unlock uh, technologies that are out there. Now, you probably remember from the various presentations on how secure these face unlocks are and how they get smarter over time and how your beard and your glasses and nothing can break them. Well, if you cover your face completely, you can break them. Yeah. And, and you can screw up all their smart neural algorithm fun stuff. Oh. Well, that that's unfortunate. Yeah, because they got the machines working and all that, but all the input and everything they were jamming into the neural was around the human face the way it was prior to this. Mm. Now they got to rework that stuff and that takes time. It's very sophisticated. Now they got to say, okay, focus mostly on the eyes and right. the bridge of the nose and because they do they do see quite a difference in the error rate even when the bridge of the nose starts to appear and the mask is a little bit lower. It's very interesting stuff. So these these guys, these engineers, they created this very sophisticated thing and then Corona didn't care, and then no, mask ki masks face. came out, and they broke all the work, and they have to redo it. It actually reminded me, though, of the eye unlock tech, which went nowhere and was on a couple of devices. Mm. It was slow was the problem, but maybe now you invest a few more bucks in that because the eyes now are the thing you have access to even in our uh, mask-wearing future.